Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the feature presentation radio show, baby. It's DJ Sus One, Ali B, Pretty Lou co hosting Fat Joe and Remy Ma, New York. Yes. The Bronx is in the building. Yes, we're we here. are. Remy Ma, congratulations on the wedding. Thank you. So we still it. air on Monday on Love and Hip Hop. Mm -hmm. And you said that if um, you weren't rapping, you would definitely do events. Yeah. Are there any, um, like, wedding or events that you would plan, you know? Me like as her agent, I'm letting you know <laughs> now. <laughs> Why? Are, talk to me. Talk I'm to just me. saying, I'm, we're going to make a, 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 a planning, an events planning company. Okay. And she's going to get money. And if you want your shit as hot as hers. Then you hire Remy Ma. Let me let me tell you something. Let's be clear. <laughs> Thank God he was at my wedding because had I been just randomly like Joe, you know what I want to do when it, I'm not rap. I want to do a event. He'd be like Rem, stick to rapping, please. <laughs> That's what you're good at. <laughs> Rap, thank you. No, we don't want you around here. Wedding was beautiful. Man. He actually was able to see it. He was like, Yo, you really did, or like, Yo, we should. You should really go into business. Yeah. I'll help you go yeah. into business. Yeah. Hell yeah. Like when when I it's, it's, it's really something that yeah. what people don't understand like if you really thought about it it kind of makes sense. Like I've been around the entire world. Mm -hmm. I've seen so many different things. Like you need lighting. I know lighting guys. I know photographers. I know videographers. I know people that do makeup. I know people that do clothes and designers for dresses. Mm -hmm. Oh, you want so and so to sing at your wedding? I can get that too. Like mm -hmm. you know, all the, all the aspects that kind of mm -hmm. come with it. Mm -hmm. I seen it and experienced it from being you know in this industry and plus yeah. it's just something that i like to do i like a lot of shit so you know i'm like okay let me think how can i get you know people skating around inside next to the Incredible. dance floor like you know how I can you get the niggas to move oh the like, statues i thought that was high yeah, so I, I got they the, started um, moving so she's got like some statues, statues. <laughs> it's just i just wow. what's it called of, um living statues living statues but like, everybody you ever seen that I saw it on the ground. First of all, <laughs> that was my first time seeing crazy, it. Crazy, my nigga. First of all, everyone, it was, was like an open it was bar. Like a set up, they were going to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> everyone. <laughs> I'm sitting there, the, Nick, the no. lady goes, and every time, and with God's blessing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, this shit is crazy, my nigga. Wow. <laughs> like, it, 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 was, it was definitely something that I, I aspired to do, but because it was mine and it was a special day for me, like I definitely put my extra all into it. Then there was people that was like, just hire a wedding plan. I was like, no. And like I'm 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 like Joe stubborn like that. When that when I tell somebody I'm gonna not only am I gonna do it, I'm gonna do it so phenomenally yeah. that yeah. everyone is gonna be like, oh, that's crazy. Like people think, oh, you know, VH1, they they do it like they they're not wedding plans. They don't come right. to like it. No, it didn't work like that. And I, and Yo, I, so how you feel like having a? Uh, let me give you a question. What? How do you feel having like a, a husband that you know he's your husband? Everybody uh -huh. knows his papoose, and then you got a brother, Fat Joe. How does how does that like? Cause I know I'm coming in the wedding, mm -hmm. and you're marrying this guy, right. but it's almost like, oh shit, he's here. That's how everybody was oh. looking at me like, <laughs> like, yo, this nigga's here too? It's, wow. This shit crazy. Um, To be honest, it's it's annoying. Both of you seriously get on my nerves. Y'all both, <laughs> you know, win. they're both win. presidents of the fun, the fun killer um, committee. Anything that I might do or attempt to do that they think might be fun to me, they find ways to shut it down. And now that, you know, I thought it was going to be the best thing or like I have to get them to be cool. Like, this is my husband. This is my brother. I love them. I want them to. Now that I'm thinking about it, I really didn't thoroughly think that through. I wanted them to be cool, but not really cool. Not to the, oh, you think that's a good idea? I'm going to call Fat Joe and see what he thinks about wow. that. Or I turn over in the middle of the night and, and, and I'm just I'm tying past my phone like, yeah, Joe, because I was saying, I was telling her the same thing. I'm like, this nigga talking to Joe and I'm <laughs> crazy. I got, so, a I got a question for you. Last time you came to the show, mm -hmm. you was just prepping for Love & Hip Hop. Right. Now that the whole season's over, I want to know how you feel about sharing your whole life on national TV. I want to know how Fat Joe likes his sister being on Love & Hip Hop um, on national TV. Anybody that knows me knows that, like, I am I was really just being me. A lot of people, you know, they get on TV and they try to be somebody else and they try to be different. I really, really was just, just uh, you guys and, you know, people out there, they never see me in certain aspects because... That's just not what I show the world. They they got Remy Ma that walks around the metal detectors all day, twenty four seven. That's all yeah. they got, and you know I feel like 
because of that, that I really feel like that's the part of the reason why I ended up with so much time. Besides being famous, but people looked at me as this violent gangster rapper. Like people never thought of me. Like she can't be somebody's wife. She can't be you know somebody's mom. She can't you know be a sane normal person. Not that I don't know how sane normal I came off, but you know I feel like people <laughs> kind of relate to me a little bit more now. And I think I think it went fine. I I, I appreciate the people over at Easton and. You know, Monami Entertainment, I feel like they definitely um, depicted me in a light that was favorable. Are you going to be back? Um, If that bag is right. No. Nice. That's you. a nice answer. I, I hear you. Has, has it changed anything? Um, now, that, now that the show is done, you know, and the season's over, and has it changed anything about you like now? You know, um, like especially that, you, you know, everything's out in the open, especially with the wedding was on TV. Like, I definitely feel like... It changed two, in two different ways. One, I'm, I'm a little bit more cautious of what I say because I, I would have to be cautious. This is a certain things that I would say that's just like my mouth is foul. Anybody that really, really like sometimes I don't I don't filter, you know, but I feel like filters are things for like fish tanks and cigarettes <laughs> and, you know, you know, hmm. a air conditioner. Thank God for the air conditioner yes. that we have now. <laughs> yes. So I don't really have a filter, but. Being on television, like you kind of be a little bit more cautious to things that you say because you don't want people to take it the wrong way and you uh, end up offending. Like I said, I said something. Um, I was like, you know, I don't want any fat bitches in my wedding. <laughs> oh my god, wow. every fat bitch I know on the planet was like, really? That's how you feel? I'm like, listen, I'm fat sometimes too, but when I lose weight and I get a little bit skinny, fuck you, fat bitches. I'm not on your side no more. Like y'all gotta understand that. But you know, so you kind of like watch, gotta watch what you say, and I, and I carry that off into my life when I'm off camera. But also, a lot of people like you'll be surprised at how many fans know me from that, like that really don't know me from music. From music, they watched me on the show, and then they went back and you know heard things like "Feel So Good" and "Conceited" and leave. Oh, you were the girl. Oh, okay. back. Oh, you're from any of like you know. So they they went back because I was gone for a long time, so people didn't really have a face to match with the voice. So now right. anything negative, because there got to be some some um, negative stuff because it's 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 kind of crazy because like Pap, he's he's really just as good as he proceeds to be on TV. It's kind of uh, it's kind of annoying. Like when people are like, oh my god, you're so lucky, yeah, bitch. Why am I looking? I'm popping. I don't know what you're talking about. Like, so it's like it, it becomes to to the point where I can't complain about anything in my house. Like if I be like, why did you leave this this and he be like, well, you know, Sandra in uh, St. Louis said she wouldn't care what I did, and you know, I'm like, yo, she don't live here. She don't know no better. So you know, that might be the only negative thing like his he is so the husband of the century that like you know i really can't so talk he, he about deserves him. an award now oh yeah. he is so what? gassed what is the secret of keeping a good relationship in the social media era because i can't keep a bitch for two days <laughs> let's just be completely honest like look at joe's face right now <laughs> <laughs> joe's like i'm I not just had my wife nothing. tell me congratulations you managed to talk to me one time at nine in the morning and haven't said shit. Good night. <laughs> wow. And I'm like, war play. I'm like, I happen to be on an interview right now as we speak. Like it's going down right now. Like you know, shit. You know, it's never. We never make these women happy. <laughs> sure. Pat Poose is getting stoned to death because he's a great guy that loves his <laughs> wife. You can never make him happy. It's a piece it's of shit. He was a tattoo. I had nothing we could do. Remy, is there such thing as a happy woman? Complete, 100% happy um, woman. I, I think that... <laughs> that <laughs> show's not no already. I think that we <laughs> even... No, Possible. listen. Even when we are happy, there's a such thing, but we can't let y'all know that we happy because then y'all gonna start slacking, so we have to that's act like... That's not true, man. That's true. What the world needs is love. Yeah, <laughs> but think about it. If your chick told you, you know what? I'm 100% happy with you. Everything you do is I would perfect, be like, right? thank you, baby. That's all I've been trying and to do And then you'd be like, you then it'll be four in the morning. I you agree. would be like, you know, let me hurry up and get home because you're going to go crazy. She'd be like, ah, I can chill. She's fine. She just told me the other day. She's, she's I have happy. a different fine. concept. See, I'm from the Bronx. Okay. <laughs> and I really went out with Tita from the block. Like, <laughs> like nigga, I done been, it's levels to these bitches. Let's keep I, it a thousand. No, no, I totally My agree. nigga. It's yeah. levels, totally and maybe agree. I'm older, but I'm at the level where I prefer a woman that it's nice, drama-free, and if she got upset, 
I would know by her just being quiet, walking away Never. like this guy. Never. She goes and she leaves quietly. Then I realize she's really upset. We should fix this out. But I really don't want shit flying at me. <laughs> all kind of drama, all kind of <laughs> shit. You piece of shit. I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you a pure example. Today, I was home finally. I was home. I'm in a room full of married motherfuckers. I was home. <laughs> you know, I had Well, if nothing. you need a wedding, I could always play. There you go. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I, I was home all day today finally. And I was like, you know what? Let me do a couple things in the crib. Wash dishes. I did the bed. Oh, man. You know, made, <laughs> made everything Better nice. Than me, boy. She walks in the crib. Oh, so you finally did something. Oh, man. Are you serious? I'm so not gonna I, lie. So I, like so, I, so, <laughs> so, so I undid the bed. I ate mad <laughs> shit. <laughs> mad shit. Uh, and I left just you like that. You ate potato chips right I on have, the bed. Yes, yes. On and purpose. I, I, I'm a, I'm you left the circuit and be like. <laughs> 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 when she sits there I came in fuck. yesterday and Pap had actually, he made the bed. And he cleaned, like, it's the bathroom. He, he He's the one that terrorizes. You know how it's like normally the female that makes the bathroom? He kills the bathroom, like kills it. Like he gets out the shower, the the mat, the rug that's right there, it be soaking wet. He's like, but why is the mat there if you're not supposed to, because it's not supposed to be wet, it's just there to look nice. You're really not supposed to soak. You're not supposed to stand there and just drip on it. But he cleaned the bathroom. And I kept saying, like, I wanted to be like, thank you for cleaning it up. Like, Terrible. but I just, Disgusting. I swear, I'm mad petty, right? I, I, just, couldn't, I just couldn't find it. And because uh, I'm like, then he's going to think listen, he really guys, did something. He didn't I've do I've done it all. <laughs> I'm one of the best husbands ever lived. I'm not going to lie. I done shit, niggas. Women dream. They could dream that could happen to them. I swear to God. Like, shit, this just a movie. Like, I've made movies for my wife. Like, our 10 year anniversary, we flew in the G4 to like 10 different islands with 10 different fucking villa mansions everywhere waiting and woke everywhere, had roses in every room and this day. And maybe two days later, it was like, fuck you, nigga. I'm like, <laughs> I wish I could have saved all that bread and let her curse me out with my bread still in my pocket. This yeah, shit crazy. Yeah, yeah. All right. If y'all just tuning in, um, Fat Joe and Remy's in the building. I got a marriage question because I'm in a room full of married people. I'm scared of marriage. Now, I want to jinx nobody in here. Mm -hmm. Remy, you and Pap are married five, ten years. We're married. It'll be eight years this year. Okay. I mean, after the wedding. All right. Nice. You guys have a family now. Kids, all that nice. shit in the house. In the 10th year, he drifts off and has a fling with another one. No, no love, just a fling. Okay. Do you leave him? Absolutely. For one mistake. <laughs> for one mistake. In 10 <laughs> years, you leave him. First of all, any <clears throat> bitch in their right mind that'd be like, no, I'd stay with him. That's like giving him a pass. It'd be like, oh, 10 years from now, I could go fuck somebody. She goes, still stay here. <laughs> Absolutely, I'm leaving. Don't try it. That's it. That's my final answer. I don't think Papu was once <laughs> ready to leave him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the same. Marriage, they say, it's, you know, there's ups and downs through thick and thin. It really is. Through the years. Yeah. So yeah. you might slip up once. Damn. So are you saying that slip you're going to cheat once. on someone? Like what? I'm not saying I would cheat. I'm just saying it's it's possible. After mm -hmm. you have sex with the same person for fucking 10, umpteen years, mm -hmm. you know every position that they come in. <laughs> you know every conversation that they have to say to your ass. I mean, unless you're cheating with a contortionist nigga, what the <laughs> fuck wow. position she can do that I can't do? Put me on right now. I'm confused. Hey. Yo. Joe, Joe's just like, listen, don't Joe even ask not me this question. This is, he should not. Joe looks like the Red Bull's coming down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do all this shit, man. My shit is like we just yo, did. We just did um something we did yesterday. Some we did an interview yesterday. Like, and he it's was starting, just to like, <laughs> he was like, <laughs> starting to go there. <laughs> I'm like, yo, listen, man. <laughs> yo, let me tell you guys. Yesterday, yo, we did this interview. <laughs> I've never seen you. You know, this guy talks for days. Yeah. Man. This was the first time I ever seen him. Like literally at a loss for words. It got to the point that he was like. One more out of line question and I'm leaving. I oh, swear. Wow. Like he was like this. One headphone of like it's only it's one shit, more ear that shit I have called to lip go. service, Angela Yee. And oh, okay, yeah, all right. Yeah. And they talking all my nigga. That's like, what Stephanie Santiago knew. Well her that, that's, a, that's a sex based show. I never knew. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> the weather man took me up in there and they was talking all kind of shit. Like I'm like <laughs> Yo, I can't take it. Like this 
this was like I couldn't take it. Nah, he but wasn't right. somewhere in the middle, he was like, I you feel know what? like I went well, to since, like a, a since, dirty bathroom. Nah, he's like, since, you ever been in a restaurant <laughs> went in the bathroom <laughs> and the shit was dirty? <laughs> it was disgusting. Stop it, yo. Nah, for real. Somewhere I never in seen the middle, no he was like, like well, since I'm being tortured, let me ask all the shit that I always all the disgusting know. shit a nigga so, can ask. <laughs> would a bitch fuck fourteen niggas and still go home and can fuck one more nigga? Just one more in the same night. She said, well, uh, yes. He's I like, like, I ah! knew it. I knew it. This is a I knew it. <laughs> Yo, there was a girl. There was a girl there. She was a porno star. And um, she said, uh, so she she said, she's been a porno star. And she, I said, well, how many guys have you had sex with since you've been a porno star? No, not even since she's been. He's like, since you've been an adult. Because she's like 24. He's like, since you've been 21. <laughs> I only want to know since you've since been grown. Yeah. So it's only she been three She said she years. fucked 300 niggas. Oh. So oh the lady God. who sucked 300 whopping cocks to the left. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yo, my nigga. Yo, my nigga. I was like, yo. No. I was going ham. I'm going to show y'all what he did. That was the most disrespectful. Wow. I, just, yo. I had to get it off. Yo, We're bro. leaving. And the girl's like, Graham, can I take a picture with you? So I'm like, all right, cool. I'm standing there. He's like, ah. <laughs> You're taking a picture with a girl that sucked 300 cocks <laughs> No, incredible. Uh, yo, Joe. That's, that's, that's what he was doing. Try to make it normal. Yo, it ain't normal. Crazy, no. she's it that, ain't normal, my nigga. Crazy. Yeah. She's literally all the way up. She's all the way up. Hold on, hold on. She's all the way up. Let me. 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 I want to talk more album talk, but I just want to have Fatjo one more question based on that. How many How many is too many dudes for a girl to sleep with to wife? Oh, I don't know. I mean, because you never really know. Because niggas is fucking and bitches is fucking. So now, exclude that. The question, the real question you asking is, can you handle if you find out who she fucked? Mm. That's true. That's the question you got to ask. Because some people be like, she bad. I want to get with her, this, this, and that. You know she fucked pretty Lou. You know she <laughs> fucked Fat Joe. You know she, well, not really. I'm just saying, allegedly, hypothetically. She fucked T.A. She fucked Puerto Rico Rob. Now you got to hold that bitch hand at, you know. That's my problem. The Angie that Martinez birthday party. Like, <laughs> and you know niggas fucked your girl. That's hard. Yo, the people always, the girls always get me on this. I'm going to tell Rem, and then we're going to go back into the album. It's talk. hard, right? It's hard for me to wife a girl in the industry because most of them fuck Trey songs. They fuck Fab. They fuck all these, you know what I'm saying? I can't wife somebody that did that. To me, that's a groupie. Am I looking at it wrong? No, I don't care not. about if they fucked a few regular dudes. You, ra you rather her fuck John John from down the block. Yeah. And, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mikey from, look, look you know, Look at T.A. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because well, at least know I what? know she you know likes John you know John. What? It wasn't you know about what? the money. You know the... what, sus? How about church? How about going being a nice, decent girl that's in church or something? But some, what? Uh, just a regular, the, nice girl. All, There's beautiful all the holes in church. are there. The, all of them. They're trying to get saved. They're all holes. All of them. <laughs> trying true. to redeem their <laughs> lives. It's true. I swear. No, like try to do like nah, a friend that you really respect. I'm telling you now. To introduce I've you to I've been to church. Nice. All the holes are there. <laughs> They're trying to <laughs> hope God forgives them for all the 300 cocks they suck. Yo, yo, <laughs> <a> whopping. <laughs> <laughs> Before they die. Yo, Lou, do you go to church on Sunday? Uh, <laughs> now nah, listen. Not no what? more. <laughs> Fucking Lou got a black eye from a stripper. <laughs> Don't ask him questions like that. All right, listen. Let's go back into the album talk because we don't got a lot of time. When's the album coming out, man? The When's the Fat Joe Remy Ma coming out? This summer, y'all get the album, <laughs> signed, sealed, delivered. We're gonna gift wrap it for the streets, for the for the for the whole world, and and everybody's gonna love it. I promise. What I want to know is, um, back to the all the way up. What was in your mind, Joe, before even the the song came about? Mm -hmm. Like, were you sitting somewhere? And I was scared. I was scared. For the first time in my career, I was scared. I was, I was, I was in a chair, and uh, I couldn't figure it out. And it's the first time in my life I ever try to make music, and I couldn't figure it out. And I was going to the strip clubs to see you, and the shit was like boogers and grits, boogers and grits, boogers and grits. <laughs> I fuck my bitch with my slides. I fuck <laughs> my bitch with my slides. And niggas, it was looking at. I was looking at the real niggas going. Fuck my bitch with my, and I was like, 
So I'm coming from when niggas was like realizing the realism of life and actuality. Fuck who's the baddest a person status. The... So I'm sitting there like horrified. Yeah. Like I'm just like tormented. Like I'm like, what are we going to do? Right. This is the first time ever it ever happened to me trying to work on some shit. So I was sitting on the couch lost. Like, yo, what's going on? So I kept going out. So I kept going to all the strip clubs. You've been seeing me. I went to Toronto for a week. Went in every fucking Jamaican, every place Drake might have rapped in. <laughs> went in the Haitian spots in Miami. Went everywhere. Then I finally got into Unching uptown in Washington Heights. And I was sitting there one day and I was smoking the hookah mad. And I was looking at these niggas because, you know, the clubs is college for me. I see what they like. I see what they want. I see what the ladies like. I see. So I was just sitting there and I said, you know what? These niggas want to be all the way up. Right. That's what they want to be. All the way up. Everybody want to be like, I'm all the way up. Yeah. Right? So then, you know, it's inspiring conversation. I got the beat from Ed Exclusive and Cool and Dre. And I got with my brother... Uh, infrared, somebody I really believe in and somebody I've been working with for a couple of years now. And I was just telling them, yo, my nigga, we need this shit. We need every nigga to feel like they the king of earth. We need the this and this. And he came back the next day and was like, nothing can stop me. you am all the way up. <laughs> and I was like, oh. And um, it was a beautiful feeling because there's no question you know if it's a hit or not. I know that's a hit. And, you know, I'm ready. You know what I'm saying? Like I like I got the team together. I got a mean fucking team behind this record. This ain't no record. And we independent. Exactly. And she's my business partner. She's not an artist. She's a boss. I moved so all, all the way up. She moved <laughs> all the way up. So all the women aspire in hip hop just know you don't have to be pimped. You don't have to be, uh, this is not a sexist, we, 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 she's actually like the fucking Hillary Clinton of hip hop right now. Mm. She's a boss. Know what I'm saying? So she, she, she's actually a, 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 a owner. Like she's, she's going to be all the way up. Is there any possible way on this album, because we're almost done with the interview because we're running out of time. I just Jesus. wanted to know. Yeah, I know. We've been here for two hours. Nigga trying to get the fuck out of here. But <laughs> <laughs> Is there any possible way that there's any unreleased big pun verses that haven't made it to the public? That it might be hear? possible somewhere. You know, I don't know. I don't know who got it. I ain't got it. Hmm. I don't have one. I got some big L on release that we gonna throw on that digging in the crates, and that's because somebody heard we doing the digging in the crates album, and they contacted me and was like, "Yo, you know, you used to rap in my house." I got some bars. I'm like, get wow. the fuck out of here. Nice. Me and Showbiz snatched them up. It's like, yo, my nigga, come here with the bars. <laughs> we got the Big Al shit. Like this. So that's going to be crazy. But uh, Big Pun, nah, we only had one verse, and we threw that on, um, I think, the Terror Squad album. That was the last unheard Big Pun verse. Actually, Nori put out the last unheard Big Pun verse. He threw out a record with... With pun that had a verse I never heard in my life. Wow. And uh, I think Nori got it from Mariah Carey or some shit. Like, pun had spit some shit for her that never came out. And uh, Nori got it or some shit. It was crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, man. we ain't got no unreleased uh, big pun. Um, Could you ask Mariah Carey if she has any other ones? I'm going to ask her, though. <laughs> I'm going to ask her. <laughs> Anybody working with, with the album? I mean, I know her, but to let the world know. Todd Dolla Sign. Uh... Uh, you know, who else we got on the album? We with Ken Jones is all over the album. He's my favorite uh, upcoming new rapper. Um, Jones. Ken Jones is on the album. Uh, I don't know who else. I'm getting tired. But we got. We Where got, I'm on the album. Remy Ma, I'm on the album. Fat Joe's on the album. Came a show, I think, right? No, 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 no. no. Keisha uh, Cole. Keisha Cole. Keisha Cole. Keisha Cole. Keisha Cole. So we got some joints, my nigga. We got we, we got some shit like, oh, we got a big, a big, uh, uh, one of my favorite artists in the world. I'm not gonna say, but nice. she's huge, huge, legendary, and I think I might have convinced her to get on the album. Nice. And you know, I was so glad because you know I got a tippy toe. I'm like, I'm like Pat Boots, my nigga. When I come to <laughs> Remy, so I walk oh, over, I say, gosh. Rem, sit down. How you feeling today? Oh, I'm feeling great, Joe. It's okay. 
<laughs> you know the outro to the album. <laughs> well, do you know who's my top three singers of all time? And that's when I got nervous. And then she got nervous. She thought I was talking about Sade. I was like, which oh, I love Sade. But that would have been hot. Chade that would have been a good... Chade, featuring Plata o Plomos, featuring Chade. <laughs> <laughs> I would have bought like, it. Oh. Make, make sense, <laughs> yes. make sense. Gosh. Make sense, you're right, you're right. <laughs> but somebody incredible. And um, Ram was like, oh my God, I love her. She's legend. I got her fucking... She's incredible. And I was just like, oh, thank God. Whew. I said, because she said yes. And she's going to fuck with us. And I'm like, well, it's, it's going to be a dream come true because this is somebody I looked up to my whole life. And um, just on the outro with, but it's it's cra it's crazy, so I just I you know I really 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 really, um, a lot of niggas act like they don't care. Like I really truthfully care about this album from A to Z down to everything, every milk and cranny we do on this album. I want it to be received well. I want Remy to shine. I want to shine because I feel like. This is gonna be the first album. He shines me. on this album. I think niggas he is gonna really understand. <laughs> yeah, did, yeah, that's came. right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Talk okay. that shit, man. I mean, Talk yeah. that shit, I'm, nigga. People know. Yeah, like, I, I'm be the first one to call somebody trash. I'm like pretty dude. Like, it's trash. It's whack. Get it out of here. Like, nah. He definitely he came with his a game. Balls right? is not, the balls yeah. is right. So they my was. thing is, I feel like finally, right? Because I. You got niggas, uh, you know, Fat Joe had beef with 50 Cent. Mm -hmm. So you had niggas who love G-Unit that had their hands on it yeah, no matter what. So I, I might have dropped. It took K Keys and Jay-Z to get the city popping now. Rob, I thought that was a hit. Mm -hmm. Who might have been, oh, I'm not fucking hearing it. No. <laughs> now it's peace <laughs> with 50 Cent. They like, oh, maybe I could vibe to fat joe now right yeah then you got other people my guys might have fucked their wives shit you know everybody's on a peaceful journey this time right Man. so it's like you know i feel like they finally They're gonna get shot. this <laughs> and give me my shot at like you know not being underrated like and just be like yo this nigga is spitting his fucking ass off on this fucking album and mind you the greatest, greatest, greatest rappers of all time have all deteriorated as they got older. The greatest. I'm talking about the innovators, yeah. the pioneers, the greatest, the ones that was like, oh my God, these are gods. When they try to come back when they was older, them niggas was off beat. They were slipping. They didn't really know what the fuck they was talking about. They were wearing 10X Pele's, trying <laughs> to like, you know, I mean. Shout out to Pele. My nigga. <laughs> I um, mean, so it, it's pretty remarkable what we've been able to do. How important are the visuals on the album as much as the music? Because I know the, the video's dropping soon. Videos retarded. E yeah. Rivera did it. But like, really, really. You know, when Rem, all right. When Rem, all right. <laughs> <laughs> when Rem, um, when Rem's, all right, Rem could do whatever she want to do. She's dope right. lyrically. Can't nobody stop that, right? But when she with me, she, she that bitch. She going to be the best in the universe. And if we shoot a video, it ain't going to be one helicopter. It's going to be 30. If we going to shoot a video, it ain't one Lamborghini. It's 40 Lamborghinis. Mm. And when you look at her, she looked like you can smell the money coming out the video. She looked like the flyest bitch in the world. She's shining because she would crack too. So we here like this. And I'm like, yo, I had to make this shit go above and beyond for niggas to be like, oh, shit. And let me tell you something. We, look, I will never say that all the way up is better than lean back. I don't smoke crack. <laughs> lean, nah, for real. Lean back is lean back. And all the way up is all the way up. All the way up seems like we out to a tremendous start, right? But Lean Back is Lean Back. Lean Back was the number two song of the decade. Decade meaning 10 years. We finally got beat in the last three months by Flow Riders Get Low. Otherwise, we would have been the song of the decade. So it's hard to beat that, right? But we 2016, we put up some shit, right? So we look better. The video is better than Lean Back. Mm. We flyer than ever. 
You know, so it's that, like, so to me, it's like, you know, I shit, you can look and lean back. So if anybody want to go, oh, shit, oh, nothing can stop me, video, lean back. And I thought lean back was dope. But these niggas is shitting on this video, <laughs> man. This shit is crazy. Well, I can't wait till the album drops. I want to thank y'all for coming to the show. I can't wait to see the video. When's the video dropping? Right after this. Yeah, I'm going to show you on the phone. Nice. <laughs> So Fat Joe, Remy, um, follow him on Instagram, Twitter, all that. I'm at Fat Joe. I'm at Fat Joe, nigga. Get at me, nigga. <laughs> yeah, the, real Re- the real Remy Ma. Go ahead, mm-hmm. say it. Because like there's a lot of fake ones trying to yap your shit. Niggas try to steal my whole wave while I was going. Yeah, like, yeah, that's it. And if you follow no, Remy on Instagram, don't leave negative comments because she will curse you out and she will block you mm-hmm. immediately. Immediately. Listen, bro. I throw block parties in all hate. Remy been block gone. Parties. Remy been gone for a minute. And yeah, yeah. For all you female rappers, I love you all. And I want all, all rappers, black, Latinas, white, whoever. I want y'all to all get money. But yeah. I did plan this. Nice. I want y'all to know that. I want her to be on fire. I want her to rule the game. That's what I'm after, supremacy. So if you're wondering, this motherfucker, yes, I'm on one. Applaud nice. Remy Ma and Fat Joe. Nice, beautiful. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. There All you go. the way up. That album's coming in the summer. I'm about to watch the video. <laughs> <laughs> it's the feature presentation, DJ Sus One. <laughs>
phenomenally yeah. that everyone is going to be like, oh, that's crazy. Like, people think, oh, you know, VH1, they, they do it. Like, they, they're not wedding planners. They don't come right. to, like, 